What's up, party people? So I just got notified that the new Pine X for Shredville has arrived. So let's go grab it, let's check it out. the pine x the one i didn't know i needed but i'm happy i got it now okay it got hot well here we are the pine x i didn't even know they were making another pint but hey here we are i'm excited let's open it up and take a look i went with the blue because i like blue wow she is pretty So it's a little bit thicker. Let's get the other one up here. This thing's supposed to have twice the amount of range. It's supposed to be XR range. And it's supposed to go two miles per hour faster. And uh, I think it's gonna replace XRs. But I already thought pints were way cooler than XRs, so I don't know. Looks good, looks clean. Love the blue, nice shiny blue. This is great. Two pints? Beautiful. Beautiful. Anyways, this is the new pint for Shredville. We're going to be testing her out, seeing if it performs just as well as this bad thing does. And uh, hopefully a lot better. Alright, so I think we're probably supposed to charge this thing first. So I guess we'll do that before we get into shredding it. So I'm going to go throw it on the charger and then we'll get into it. Pine X. Ain't she pretty? Pint sticker. Owner's manual. One more stickers. Charger. 
business cards? Fox. What are we going to name this thing? Online activation failed, whatever, dude. Pine X. Okay, well, the app doesn't work. Eh, we don't need it anyways. So anyways, while we let this thing charge, let's go shred the other one, right? So we've already got issues with this thing and it starts with me not being able to connect to it with my phone so that means two issues not only are we in the slowest riding mode but also simple stops enabled so i can't go backwards and it just shuts off but right, let's go ahead and try and shred it
All right, so even in the slowest mode, it's still, I can feel the torque pretty good. Now, it doesn't like to climb hills. I don't know if that's just the slow mode or what. It really sucks that I can't log into the app and control the settings, and I don't even know how fast I'm going or anything, so I don't even know if I'm getting those two extra miles they're promising me. But it seems a lot more torquey, and I feel like it probably is a lot faster. It's handling it pretty good. There's one or two jumps that it kind of cut out on me, the bigger jumps. But uh, overall, if I can connect to the app, I'll be pretty happy.